What's happening everyone? Joey Antonelli here. And we got a rocky west wind. This is the way it's been for a while, but I'll take it because the swell is down. We're out on the boat, and if you've been around Florida lately, you know Red Snapper have been all over social media on the East Coast. We just had our recreational season. Now we are still in the commercial season for it. Um, we're gonna fish the bottom for some Red Snapper, but we are also gonna get the flat line out because I love flat line to me some kingfish. And while we're out here, we might as well try to get a couple kingfish. So, little stinger rig, live pogey. And it might do some diving today as well. Just a little pogey, a little flip right out the back. Let's get that in the right angle for you. A little bit more out the back. There we go. And we're just kind of letting them swim out a little ways. And this is, a, this is a tsunami, this is an older tsunami reel. I've been using it for a long time, Tsunami Forge. I don't think they make it anymore, but I love it. So I'm using it. We're looking for some kings. I'm gonna get this out there, get this set up, and then I'll start setting on my bottom gear. Oh my God, burn me to the bottom. That's gonna be a snapper, I think. Something hit the flat line fast. Come on. Come on, no, he's in there, he's in there, he's in there. I feel him in the bottom. There he goes. Snapper came all the way up for that. That's nuts. All right, I guess I'll free line a snapper bait, I guess. Can't really do much about a treble hook on a little reel when the snappers are coming up to the surface for it. All right, we're switching to spinner now. I got a little bit more power with this. I got braid. I'm gonna see if I feel a fish and I will take it from there. Oh, oh. Flat line shoe. Right when I was getting ready to drop the other rod down. Just got him coming around us right now. Doesn't feel very large. A little king maybe. That rod up out of there. King to start us off the day. Go for a start recording. It's our first snapper today, dripping a chunk out. I looked over the line, was just ripping out of it. All right, we're tight on them. Tight and good. Well, I got my fish right here. I got my fish right here, I'm good. There we go. Starting us off good. Solid arse. Things pull hard on the spinner. GoPro start recording. Mm. Come on. Come on. He's out far. What do I got? A Bonichiwa? I got a Bonichiwa. Well, that's not what I was looking for. 
Jumbo Bonitos. Well, that thing absolutely worked me. Size large Bonita. Come on. Stay tight, stay tight. There we go. We tight again. We tight again. Ooh, that's actually putting a little heat to it. We're going to tighten the drag up a little. The power in these reels is absolute. So we're tight again. The power in these reels is absolutely unbelievable. I thought I was reporting, but I wasn't. The flat line's on too. Let's get this hooked up. We got to go get all that, get everything to deal with it all. Woo! Got someone else on the flat line. I'm working the snapper zone. Let's see, almost there. I got a good snapper, big snapper. Big snapper, boy. Oh, yeah. There he is. Second one for the day. Solid arse. There we go, we're sending down another bait. Going down, going down, going down. That's good, we're getting close, getting close to dive time. That's two good fish. Two good fish in the boat. Smaller bonita. Keep them. Red snap a season, and Rodney is doing a great job for us. Arse! It is the dive time. Got a couple of nice fish in the boat, rod and reel, and I wanted to save enough room for me to be able to shoot a couple of these big red snapper. Again, we're allowed 75 pounds, but I love getting in the water because it gives me moments like this. I mean, I'm not spear fishing right now. I mean, I have a gun. I'm looking to spear fish. But just swimming around this turtle, this turtle did not care at all that I was there. It was covered in life for Amora's little jacks. And it let me get as close as I wanted. It did not care at all. Super relaxed, really cool experience. But now, let's spearfish. So I'm drifting down into the chum, looking for a big red snapper, and there are a lot of them down there. I'm kind of lined up on a piece of chum, being patient, waiting for a good shot, and here it comes. He turned broadside for me. I got a real good shot. Didn't stone him or anything like that, but I'm also shooting a bigger gun with a slip tip so I know I could rip him in, and that's what I did. I just pulled as hard as I could, got him in right away, got up to the boat, threw him in the boat, and then got back in the water to see a sailfish. Uh, we had the bait in the water, like a flat line. I wanted to get video of the sailfish eating it, and it was kind of interested, but I don't know if it was just too spooked because I was there, but it wouldn't go for the eat. Now we're going to drift down again. Again, I said this is a big gun. This is a 130 wide body Toa, and it has a ton of power. This is a long shot coming up right here. I'm aimed at the fish. Once he turns a little bit, I let it fly. Hit him good and started ripping him up, but it would not be a spear fishing video without a good little shark encounter, and that's what's going to happen up next. Uh, just remain calm, and I just kept ripping the fish up. I just didn't want the shark to get it. didn't want the shark to grab the fish. I think it's the safest scenario if I can get that fish up to me. Every single time I've ever done that, I've had the sharks back down. I guess it only takes one time for them not to, but in my experience, the best thing to do is pull the shark or pull the fish into you and put the spear between you and the shark. And that's what I was doing here as I slowly made my way back to the boat. Notice I'm not kicking real fast or trying to get away. I think at this point, the shark's just kind of curious, trying to figure out what's going on, what just happened. And that's a sandbar shark, pretty good size one. And I was just going to make my way back to the boat. And there's a look at the fish I got. 